Hey, what's up guys? It's Philip here. Uh, I got another video for you today. Today it is the 2021 Kia K5 LXS. This is the trim level above the base. This has got a lot of equipment for a very affordable price. Stay tuned guys. I'm gonna do a quick walk around video on this really, really nice car. All right, so coming around the front of the vehicle. First things first, here is the key fob. It looks just like the traditional Kia key that's been coming out now for uh, about a year. Uh, it started out on the Forte. Uh, you can get this on the Telluride, uh, the Soul, all that good stuff. It is a push button and easy access key. Uh, lock, unlock, push to hold the, char uh, the trunk open, and then the uh, horns there as well if you want to go and do that. So that's the key. Really nice, really good uh, compact key, which is really nice. Now coming to the 2021 Kia K5 LXS. This has got the black paint color on the outside. Now, starting with the headlights here, something very, very nice. Uh, on the base trim of the 2021 Kia K5, it comes standard with uh, LED headlights, which is really cool. You'll see the um, LED daytime running lights that just came on. You have uh, little vents here um, for uh, airflow. You also have Kia's new tiger face grill it used to be called the tiger nose grill uh, but now it's tiger's face as you can see it extends all the way into the headlights really nice design here on this vehicle here's the wheels that you get on the lx and this lxs trim level they are 16 inch rims uh, wrapped in 205 65 tires coming around here you have the um the mirror that is de uh, detached from the the a pillar here so it's uh it's right on the side of the door which is nice it helps out with the blind spot and uh talking about blind spot uh it does have the blind spot warning system there i can show you here in just a second as i told you before it does have the uh keyless uh entry there with you don't have to use the key the key is in my pocket i can unlock and lock the door from just touching that button coming around the back here you have your fuel door and this chrome strip that you'll see right right there, it wraps all the way around the vehicle, which makes it really look symmetrical and uh, really looks nice. Uh, the back of the vehicle here, you'll see it's got the K5 badge. Now these are halogen uh, reverse, halogen turn signal, and halogen uh, brake lights in the back. Right back here, you got the backup camera and you got the button here to uh, open the trunk. And talking about the trunk, what a huge trunk this is. It has got a ton of space for everything that you really need to put in the back here. You can put suitcases, anything that you want, golf bags, whatever you really want to put back there, uh, you're gonna fit it back. Uh, again, this is the LXS trim level. Right down below here, you have fake quad exhaust, or fake uh, dual exhaust, sorry. Uh, the exhaust doesn't actually go out of these ports, but they are. they look very sharp on the back of the vehicle. Come back on this side, same same design as the, the driver's side. Um, I really do like this window right back here because it does add a lot of um, clarity to when you when you turn around, you can really see over uh, what you're looking at. Come back around to the front here. Very stylish vehicle. And this vehicle starts out only around $25,000. For $25,000, there's nothing that really compares to this vehicle. And it is really, really nice. Guys, let me take you on the inside of the vehicle here and I'll show you some of the interior and the features that are on the inside. All right, coming on the interior here. This is the, the back seat. Tons of space. You can see there's a lot of leg room there. You also have anchors for the children. If you have to put your kids in the back here with uh, anchors, uh, they're really nice there to have them. They're very accessible. There is a cup holder fold, fold down right there for the center armrest. And then coming on the doors here, you have your uh, power window right here. Really nice design. Uh, the Kia took every step to make this vehicle look very nice, uh, even down to the speakers here. I mean, this design on the speakers is really nice. Um, and it's just a minor thing that really makes the vehicle stand out. You do have uh, one cup holder right there, uh, two in the middle, and then two or just one on the other side as well down here. Uh, you got the extension into the uh, the screen there, so it's a really good view of the screen as well. Let's take you on to the, the driver's side here. Let me shut this door and I'll come around to the driver's side. 
So coming on the driver's side here, I'll start with the door. Power windows here, power locks, all that good stuff is, is on this vehicle. Um, you also have the, the button to turn off the access to the rear window so the kids can't play with the windows as well. Uh, it is one touch up and down for the driver's side. Now coming in here, uh, on the driver's side you have your safety controls here. So traction control off. You also have the lane departure warning uh, on and off button here. And then you have the interior illumination. Down right below here you have the, uh, the trunk. So you can open up the trunk right there. Coming on the side here, uh, on the steering wheel, you have your Bluetooth volume up controls mode for the radio. And then also you have uh, on the right side of the steering wheel, you have the controls for the infotainment system and also your cruise control right there. Let me uh, push the button. I got the key in my pocket and then right around here, you just put your foot on the brake and then right here is the start button. And you press the button and it fires on up for you. You'll hear Kia's traditional uh, noise there as you, you turn it on. Let me shut the door real quick and turn this fan down a little bit fairly hot outside today so uh, right here in the center stack um, what I'm gonna show you here is the uh, I'm gonna show you the uh, tachometer on the left hand side you have your cool hot temperature gauge as well you also uh, have on the right hand side you have uh, the speedometer and the gas gauge right here um, on the the right hand side uh, right in the middle you have your uh, infotainment uh, kind of the extension of the infotainment system here and uh, all the uh, information that you'll need while you're driving like your trip um, your average fuel economy uh, your drive modes all that good stuff and then right on the top here you'll see right there uh, is your range so uh, you got your range and then on the left side of the screen you have your uh, park drive all that good stuff for the transmission uh, it's telling me that the vehicle is going to turn off there because it it does have a safety setting where it does it's not going to run the vehicle all day long for you uh, and then on the and get a good view here on the right side of the steering wheel you have your windshield wipers so you have the different settings here for the intermittent um, windshield wipers and then you uh, just press down to turn the windshield wipers on and the further you press down obviously the the faster it does go uh, pull towards you to spray windshield wiper fluid on the uh, the, the front of the car there uh, which is cool uh, on the left side of the steering wheel you have your turn signals right there you also have your uh, high beams um, and then you also have the mode to turn the car um, uh, to auto to uh, daytime running lights all that good stuff there now I did want to point this out the the headlights are auto on and off headlights if you've never experienced auto on and off headlights or high beam headlights I'm sorry uh, they are very very useful uh, we have it in our sportage and they're super nice Coming around here on the, the right side here, you have the infotainment system. So this is your radio. Uh, this is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatible. Uh, this is the first Kia that has wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Uh, so you don't actually traditionally need, uh, well traditionally you actually would have to use your uh, Apple cord or your Android cord um, to hook up to the Apple CarPlay Android Auto, but now it is wireless. So you don't have to plug it into the infotainment system to get it. Uh, but going back over here, there are three hard buttons on the side here. One's for the radio. You press that and you can get to the screen of the radio. I'm um, going to turn the radio down so it doesn't turn on and, and blare us. Uh, and then you got the media. So this is for your uh, Bluetooth audio from your phone, your USB cord, however you hook that up. You can listen to music that way. And then the star. This is set to wherever you really want it to go. It is set to none right now, but I can set it to a, a range of things like the phone projection. You can turn the display off. You can go to home. You can get it to go to your phone. There's a, multiple ways you can uh, set the star button to uh, to really go to where you want it to go. And then on the right side of the screen, you have your seat track and setup uh, settings all over there for um, the radio. Two turn knobs, volume up and down, uh, power on and off. You press it in, and then on the other side, it's the tune knob for the radio. Down just below that, you have the standard dual zone automatic climate control so you can have the settings for the temperatures different temperatures and, and it's set just like a an ac at your house so if you want to be at 68 degrees in the car you can set it at 68 degrees in the car and it will go to that temperature vice versa if your passenger wants it to be 72 in the car they can set their side of the vehicle to 72 uh, and it's really nice uh, if you you have people in the car that are different temperatures uh, if one person's hot one person's cold all the time you can have a different setting there and then right below that you have your completely off 
Uh, I'm going to turn it back on the, the low setting there because uh, it is hot and um, you got your front windshield wiper de-icer, rear windshield, uh, windshield de-icer, um, and then you have the different settings for the AC controls. Right below that, you have the a little storage nook here. Actually, you can put like your phone or change or whatever you want to put down there. And then it also has um, the USB port for the infotainment system. Now this is the only port that hooks up to the infotainment system. And then right next to it, you have the fast charging USB. And then you also have a 12 volt uh, charger right there. Coming on down, shifter. It uh, hooks up to the eight speed automatic transmission. And you can push it over to shift with the Sportmatic transmission up and down. And I'll put it back in part. And then right below that, you have your uh, electric parking brake and then the auto hold for when you're in traffic. And then right below that, you have the drive modes, which it turns right into left there, the, the drive mode, so you can turn it however you want. I'm going to bring it up to the screen because it shows you. So right now, we're in normal. If you turn it one time to the right, it turns it to sport mode. And then if you turn it again, it turns it to custom. Now, let's go back one more time. Let's go to sport. So sport is the uh, obviously the most sporty um, tuning of the suspension, of the engine, the transmission. It just makes it feel like a really sporty car. Custom, it really adapts to how you drive and uh, it really makes it a really nice, useful vehicle for you. Smart is the same thing as custom there, basically. Uh, the only difference is that smart is the one that adapts to how you drive. Um, custom, it really sets to uh, the, the settings of the vehicle there. Uh, and then uh, one more time, so you got normal sport, uh, custom, and then uh, smart. Now let's go to the custom here for the settings. So I was talking about the vehicle, how the vehicle is set up uh, for custom there. Now, so you can go in here to custom and you can go to the powertrain, which is the engine transmission. You can tune this to go sporty. And then you could also go back and let's say you, you only want the steering to be normal. You don't want the steering to be heavy because when you turn the, the steering wheel or the, the setting to, to sport, it does make the steering wheel tighten up just a little bit to feel, again, more sporty. You can actually have this set to where the custom setting uh, is only a normal steering wheel feel, but it has the sporty powertrain, which is pretty cool. So there is a little different bit of, of settings that you can go do in here in the vehicle on that custom setting. Uh, the hazards are right here in the middle as well. I don't think I went over that. I'm um, going to do a little aerial view. Passenger seat. These seats are the premium cloth that Kia has been coming out with years for years. Uh, it's a really qu high quality cloth. AC uh, vents over there. Uh, eight inch touch screen coming around the vehicle here. I did want to note the seat on this side is manual. So it is manual adjusting. Uh, you can recline, you can move it forward or backwards, and you can also pump it so that it goes higher in the air. So you can see a little bit of view. Uh, of view. Very good view in the vehicle. Coming around the back here. And you'll see that that little window I talked about it outside, you can, it gives you just a hair of better view outside of the vehicle. So let me come around here on the the sign here. So I'm going to show you the blind spot here on the side of the vehicle so you can see it. So you'll see the blind spot right there in the mirror. So when that when a car gets into the your blind spot, that will illuminate um, orangish yellow tint, like an amber tint. Uh, and it does it on both uh, sides of the vehicle. So on the passenger and on the driver's side. Guys, I'm going to get out of this vehicle and I'm going to wrap this video up. Thank you so much for watching. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to like and subscribe uh, to my channel. Make sure you like this video because it does help me out so much. And again, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell notification down next to the subscribe button there to make sure that you're up to date on all of the videos that I do post. I did want to come outside the vehicle and show you the, uh, the MSRP sticker for this vehicle because I am always amazed at how much you get in a vehicle for the value so this is the window sticker uh, that comes from Kia that sticker price is only twenty five thousand seven hundred and five dollars that's a lot of vehicle for twenty five thousand dollars I mean that is absolutely crazy uh, this vehicle has a lot of things in it guys if you're in the market for a, a new k5 trust me we will give you the uh, the best experience that anybody has given you uh, we stand behind what we say uh, we want to give you the best customer experience that we can give you uh, here at Hertrick Kia in Easton Maryland uh, again the guys this is the 2021 
Kia K5 LXS. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.